On Friday, May 22nd, 2009, there was a fire at the Armadale Juvenile Correctional Facility in St. Anne, Jamaica. One room burned down. 23 girls lived in that one room. 23 girls on lockdown. A term usually used in adult prisons. Two weeks for new arrivals. Or for punishment. If one girl broke the rules, 23 girls went on lockdown. Not allowed outside. Not allowed to go to class. All meals eaten inside the room. With fingers instead of utensils. One hour of bathroom use per day. Door locked at night from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. On Friday, May 22nd, 2009, the 23 girls at Armadale had been on lockdown for more than two weeks. Six or seven girls planned to escape that night. They removed the grill from the window. Supervisors heard them and saw what they were doing and called the police. The blades and grills from the front and back windows were already gone. The girls saw the police. They threw water, urine, feces, and other objects at them. The police got angry. One police officer drove off the compound, returned, and threw something back at them. The thing he threw was a tear gas canister. It hit a mattress with foam material, and suddenly, fire. Toxic gases, smoke. The door was locked. The back window was the only visible means of escape. 23 girls, one window, pushing, shoving, screaming, coughing, trampling, fainting. 23 cries for help. One correctional officer said, nothing we can do but let them stay inside. There was no evacuation plan, no working fire extinguishers. No fire drill has ever taken place. Yet, this was not the first fire at Armadale. The scene outside was horrific, utter confusion. Girls crying, girls with burns. One girl said later, I helped one of the girls and her skin started to come off. More than 20 minutes before the fire truck arrived, with no medical assistance, some of the girls went to the hospital. The first medical officer arrived between 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. She discovered that one girl could have lived until 1 a.m., but there was no one at the scene to help her. Five girls died in the fire. Two girls died later from their injuries. Seven girls total. One room, seven bunk beds, 14 mattresses, 23 girls. One room, three windows with all grills, one door with multiple locks, 23 girls. One toilet, at night, no toilet, one or two buckets instead, or a piece of newspaper, or a plastic bag for 23 girls. The room, 20 feet by 12 feet and 10 feet high. The National Building Code states that no more than five girls should fit in that space. Each girl had approximately six square feet of freestanding space. That's roughly two and a half feet by two and a half feet square tile of space. Today we remember the seven girls who died. Anne Marie Samuels, 16 years old. Rochelle King, 16 years old. Shana Lee Carr, 15 years old. Nerissa King, 16 years old. Stephanie Smith, 17 years old. Kate Nelson, 15 years old. Georgina Saunders, 16 years old.
seven girls. Seven lives burned to nothing in a fire of neglect. Seven daughters who will never see their parents again. Seven victims of a broken system. Jamaica's children in state care continue to be held in violation of the law and international human rights every day. There were 68 children being held in lockups island-wide as of March 2, 2010. How many are being held in lockups as of today? We must fight! 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 We must fight! to protect Jamaica's children in state care and ensure that Armadale is never repeated.